<clears throat> Hello, wonderful people. This is Quilchan, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, it's, it's been a while. I don't even remember the last time. I uploaded to YouTube. Let, let me go check that. But, um, basically today I'm going to tell you about art that I had done in Inktober, if you don't, if, if you don't know, you know, my Instagram account already, but it's at quiltronart.com, at quiltronart, I almost said dot com, the heck, okay, but yeah, it's just at quiltronart, and yeah, that's basically it, I mean, super simple, super easy, nice luxury access, <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, last posting was day five. Actually, no, that was day six. Day six of Inktober. And uh, here's what happened. Um, bad things happened. Uh, anxiety happened. Feeling bad happened. And just a whole lot of other things. And then I was going to pick it back up again and start from day six to the point that I was going to do it. Then, you know, life happened and my boyfriend of a year and 11 days at that point in time decided to do things and then <laughs> break up with me. And so, you know, it hasn't been very good for me. Now, what what is today? Today is the 13th of November. Uh, life is just a trip. It's, um, it's interesting. Yeah. So, um, the link to my Instagram will be down below. The link to my other Instagram where I post my makeup looks. Go check that out. I will also put that link in the description, as well as my Deviant Art link, which I'm going to start actually linking things in my description when I say I'm going to link things in my description. I promise I am going to link things in my description. So, yeah, that's going to end up happening. Life is getting crazy. School is getting... is... I have six weeks of school left for the semester, and I'm praying, praying that I can get everything that I need to done in a timely fashion, um, because I am very far behind, because I came in five weeks late to my school, so school's stressing me out, the boyfriend, the ex-boyfriend situation stressing me out, art, I'm doing pretty good. Now, let's get into what we're here to talk about besides why I ghosted you guys for the basically the entire month of October. But I'm going to start getting back into doing the videos because, I mean, they're fun, they're nice, they're Gucci, they're fresh. And I just love doing them. But, yeah. See, um... Go check out my story as well. I, I need questions because <laughs> uh, I was bored at 4 a.m. So go go send me some questions. And uh, yeah, thanks. You'll probably see this most likely whenever it's uploaded today because I'm going to upload it today. But we're just going to scroll all the way to... We're going to scroll all the way to one and talk about it, and we're going to move on from there. One, number one, Tamaki. I have come to terms with how he looks. I love his look right now. He's so fresh. He's so beautiful. I don't think I would change anything about him if I were to redo him, except for maybe, like, take away the harsh shading. But other than that, honestly, like, he's beautiful. He's a fabulous boy. I love him. Now moving on to Undertaker. I've come to accept him too, but I would do a lot, a lot of changes to his hair, especially, 
especially the shading. Oh my goodness. But, um, uh, in, a, uh, in words of skin tone and skin shading, that's pretty good. I'm not too concerned about that. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't do anything with him either except for just the hair. Uh, Utah. I have no complaints about Utah. He came out exactly as I thought he would come out. He came out as a beautiful, pale ghoul, you know, like he's supposed to be. This, this came out absolutely perfect. Remember, the butt says, if you can read this, tie this girl up. <laughs> uh, these lips and nose, perfect, absolutely perfect. Don't have to change anything about them. I love the pumpkin. The ink wash was so difficult to do. And modern art, I'm going to give a shout out to modern art because, oh my goodness, I love the picture of the pumpkin so much. I wanted to recreate it. And I linked him in the description, obviously, as you can tell. So I will also link his it down in the description box below if I can remember to do that. And if I don't, please at me. Don't at me. Don't. But, um, yes. Also, thank you to Featured Art because you gave me the inspiration to do something very similar. Actually, the dress style is quite the same as well as the hair. Uh, the only thing that changed is shading and color tone. But the original picture was done by Featured Art. At Art Featured Land future future land I don't I know how to speak English I can speak English you I promise Slendy thank you <laughs> to Raytonization for you know creating uh Slendy as in the Slendy not Slenderman the actual Slenderman she did not create the actual Slenderman I'm talking about specifically Slendy this one right here I got this from her and I want to give a special shout out to <sighs> Altered Gamer my ex for you know giving me this as a suggestion ooh um number nine such a beautiful like little baby so cute and yeah that's basically all I have to say about it I'm not gonna change that one at all uh, this one I would change because, just because of the harsh shading. Harsh, harsh, harsh shading. Oof. Uh, this one I will most likely not change. The jeans look perfect. That's exactly what I was going for. The top, oh my goodness, so beautiful. And yes, her skin, the skin is supposed to be orange, I mean gray, because I wanted the showcase to be the jeans and the shirt. Which is super cute, and I like it. <laughs> this, I would just scrap this whole picture, but my mom's like, you can, you can do something with this. Make yourself a little money. Somebody might like that. And I was like, okay, so I have not scrapped any of these pieces yet. I have no complaints. It came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. I love the little birdie. I love everything about it. And this, and the, it has... This has an original picture. It does not actually look like this. Um, if I start making merch with, that will have like logos or if I have a sticker for my um, art to show you that people know that it's actually mine because my signature does change because I'm not consistent. Um, you, There will be a sticker that looks very similar to this except the name is at a different angle. But it still says Quilchon, and it's still a pencil, and it's still pink. So that's not changing at all. The cactus, uh, I changed the eye shape, and I give it a, a wait. It, yeah, she does have a little smile, but I just changed the color from it being so dark to being lighter. Uh, other than that, not really much to change. Um, and this one, I love it, um, all the colors and the gray tones on top as well as the dark tones on just the clothing and the hair itself, it's very beautiful, very funky, very fresh, 
just needed, needed something, you know, on day 16 to lighten the mood. Day 17, we got a nice, fresh, poppin' cherry. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Um, here on day 18, we have a skull. So beautiful, so nice, so fresh. Ah, uh, just so nice. On day 19, oh god, this is the one that broke my heart. Because I did this one really, really late um, in the day. But on day 19, I did a little fairy on a thumb. I changed the overall shading on the finger, and uh, that's about it. Yeah. 17, 17, 20, my birthday. Whoop, whoop. I'm 17 years old, y'all. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting up there in age. I'm gonna be a senior citizen in a, in a real short time. Oh my goodness, can't wait for college. Two years, though. Actually, technically, one year. It'll be, no, still two years, 2018, 2020. I have to wait till then. But it's gonna be all worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is actually the g compilation that isn't signed because it's just not. Harry Potter shading on him is not is is not cute. There is no shading. The face is not cute. That snitch though. Looking freaky fresh. Hashtag Harry Potter reference. Also, on PlayStation, I just thought that I would mention this. On PlayStation, there's this game called Terra, specifically PlayStation 4, and I have a character on Terra. It's an M it's an MMO RPG, technically. And um, on that, I have a character, and her name is Nymphadora. If you know which Harry Potter movie Nymphadora comes from, comment down below. Show me that you're a part of the Potter squad, and tell me what house you're in. I'm a Slytherin, personally. <laughs> um, this, day 22, oof, difficult, because, because, come in, Gamma. I'm recording. I will help you with that in a second if you sit down quietly. And as you people know, I don't edit, so that's going to be in there. Y yeah. So uh, this was supposed to be a picture of my boyfriend. But no, he's, it's, at this point, actually, on the 19th, the day before my birthday, he became my ex. So now it's a picture of my ex-boyfriend, still best friend, I think. Uh, comment down below, tell me how it looks. I'm so bad at realism. Um, eyes, what can I say? I'm a master at eyes, I capture the emotion. Beautiful, uh, just so nice. These eyes actually took me a really long time to do. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the eyes, honestly. There's nothing more to it. Um, breast cancer! Save a breast! Actually, it says save the boobies. <laughs> because I'm a child. But, um, no, uh, but yeah. Breast cancer, it's not a great thing. But I thought I would throw breast cancer awareness in there, because October, hashtag breast cancer awareness month. <laughs> And, uh, CL Phantom Hive. Oh my goodness. The thing that I would change on here is for the highlights, I forgot to add red because he's in a red room, so you need red in the highlights to show that it's reflective. Uh, that's the only thing. Also, can, can I, can I just mention, can I just, oh, just stop. Can I just mention that hair, though? That hair, though, and that shading on his face, though. Like, mm, girl, you know how to do it. Now, that's day 25. Day 26 is, I don't even know how to explain it. Just, I guess, 
the start of an apocalypse. There is some more context to this coming up in the end on day 31. Ah, uh, yes, we got a sugar skull for Dio de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. And if I did not say that correctly, please, somebody correct me. I am currently not learning Spanish because, you know, Spanish, but um, I'm learning Korean, so... I would never use those words <laughs> in a situation. But um, I did the sugar skull for um, at Miss Amy Gardner. She is a wonderful, loving school teacher. She is a sugar skull hipster. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. And I just, I just love everything about her. She's amazing. She's basically like a second mom to me. I know I have, I, I, you guys probably, if you know me in real life, you know that I have a lot of people that I call my mom, but she's like a true second mom to me. She helps me out so much and I just love her. Ah, yes, 28. We just got the peace sign from the peace tea from, uh, that brand. Um, <clears throat> Arizona tea? Yeah, that's what it was. And basically, that's what I did. There's actually nothing more to that. So we're just gonna move on. We have a green skull. I know, he looks a little sad. That's kind of uh, my fault because he's kind of just, he's kind of just uh, not too happy, if you know what I mean. But I say this came out pretty great. It looks pretty cute. I like it personally. So let's go on to number 30. And we have Keith from Voltron. Nothing really to say about him. I did him kind of in my own art style. Not really trying to go for the anime's art style because I didn't want to have to have that hassle of trying to do exactly as the anime has it. But we're going to move on to number 31. Now, um,. This was inspired by, um, alt at Altered Gamer 30, th 321, and, um, basically, he wanted me to do a picture of, like, a post-apocalyptic scene, but I didn't want to do something super complicated, so I told him, that I was gonna do something very simple, and if I wanted to spruce it up in the end, that I would, but I didn't. I just kind of kept it the same. And basically, this is the guy from 20... something. It's a number. I think it's like 27. Yeah, 27. This is um, him after the apocalypse, so there was um, there, <coughs> there was, um, the before the apocalypse, and then after apocalypse, and, uh, yeah, that's what we had for Inktober, that was all of Inktober, right there, now I'm gonna move on to what I have done recently, and you're probably like, that's probably a lot, and honestly, it's not a lot. It's these, it's this here, uh, and then six others. Basically, uh, the quote on this is, "'Tis better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all." By Alfred Lord T Ten Tenson? Tenson. And basically, uh, <laughs> the picture is self-explanatory, except you know, the person that I'm talking about doesn't have black hair. But, I mean, it works. So, that's all that matters to me. And uh, we have the little, the little skulls. And they're so cute. So nice, so tiny. And these were all 
um, possibles for Inktober. This one's the one that made it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, this was a girl that I had drawn um, before Inktober, but I knew I just wasn't going to put her in Inktober because the picture was, like, really tiny. So there would be no point. <laughs> Um, and this one is another girl from before Inktober, um, and basically all of it is pencil except for the outlines and the eyes and the dress. Same on the other girl except for her hair. And this right here, this is a little concept art that I had decided I was going to do. It is uh, originally not done by me. I just forgot to link them because it's not done by me. So it would make more sense if I had put who actually did the original picture. But um, I will put who did the original picture in the description box of this video. I promise. And this right here, this is... Pangwa, which is which means peace in Korean, and she is my new my latest OC. And you're probably wondering why did you name her Pangwa? It sounds like penguin. Well, Pangwa is peace, and I need to keep my peace sometimes. So Pangwa, and it kind of just goes with Tamaki, I guess, because Tamaki in Japanese means jewel. And Tamaki keeps me kind of sane, so Pangwa will help me keep my peace in the time in times of stress and anxiety. And we have another picture of Pangwa, and I just needed another position to have her in that I would feel comfortable seeing her in. I don't know. It like if you can't tell, there is a lot of remnants of previous pictures that I thought would work. And they didn't. But Pangwa is how you pronounce it. The characters are right here. But yeah, that's Pangwa. And this is just a little thing. You know, sometimes you just gotta apologize to yourself. And so it says, Dear mind, sorry for thinking too much. Dear mouth, sorry for... <clears throat> Sorry for um, all the lies we've told. Dear eyes, sorry for all the tears I've shed. Dear heart, sorry for breaking you. And, you know, that just goes along with, you know, everything that has gone on for me in the past month or so. <laughs> Actually, it would only be a month on the 19th. Nearly a month, but, like... Uh, yeah, but that's all I have for you, honestly, because there's, there's nothing more. Like, that is all of my art up until now. Um, there are other pieces of art all the way down here, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear about that. Plus, I'm pretty sure this video is long enough because I don't edit out anything. Yay! <laughs> to not editing. So... <clears throat> keep your pencils moving, keep drawing, or keep watching art, or keep doing whatever it is you do. One day, when I get a new camera, I promise more makeup tutorials and other things like unboxings and other things will happen. Um, dang it. Winter's coming. That means winter animes. Yay. So, I will have that video for you guys. What's today? Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, today's Tuesday. I will have that for you on Friday. Now remember, I'm gonna try and post every Monday and Friday. So, catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!